Hey guys, welcome to the overview of the Black Market plugin for Minecraft. This is just going to give you a quick uh, installation guide and a bit of the in-game setup for how you can get up and running and make sure everything's set up how it's supposed to be. Right off the bat, once you've downloaded the plugin and put it in your plugins folder, you'll need a couple of other plugins just to make sure everything works well together. One of those is the Citizens plugin, another is Vault, and then just an Economy plugin also to go along with Vault. Once that's all been set up, hit your run.bat file and it will generate all the plugin files needed. So once that's all done, jump in game, and the first thing I want to do is create our NPC from the Citizens plugin. So we open up and we want to type the command slash NPC create, and then after that, just the name of the NPC. For the purpose of this one, we're just going to call it Barry. Hit enter, and you'll see Barry appears and is looking mighty fine with his cape on. Now, what's going to happen? You're going to get this message coming up saying created Barry and then you're going to have an ID with a number following it. We want to really remember that number because that's we're going to use to link with the black market plugin. So once we go in, we go over and open up our config.yml and you'll see under citizens API underscore NPC underscore ID. That's the one you want to be looking at for here. You want to set whatever the number the NPC gave you, the ID, we place that next to the citizens API. Alrighty, so now we'll go through each of the config messages here and just go through explaining what they do. So we start off with spawn message. What that really means is when the NPC spawns, will a message be broadcast to the whole server telling that the NPC has spawned? It's editable through the languages.yml file. After this, we've got time method. This just looks at uh, the two methods for how time and the NPC is managed. One is via a clock, which is a clock setting, and the other one is time. I'll go into those a little bit later on explaining what they are and how they work. Uh, the next option we have is buy amount. That buy amount is essentially how many items a player can buy per black market period. Item selected is how many items are displayed for the black market. And we've just gone over the citizen ID. So now we'll look at the two methods for the time. You've, we've got clock and we've got time. What clock is? Clock takes a known time which we set up. So it has a date and it has an hour and it has a minute. So for this one, we'll use... Uh, 8.30 p.m. on the 25th of January 2023. So this is kind of our zero time. So this is like our starting point, which everything else is going to be based off. And then we have two options. We have visible minutes and we have repeat minutes. What visible minutes means is how long is the NPC going to be visible for? So here we've set it to be visible for five minutes. And what repeat minutes is, is how long will it be visible? Like what is the time period between every time it's visible? So here we've set it up. So every hour it will be visible for five minutes. So if we extrapolate that data out, it's going to be visible at 8.30 for five minutes. And then at 9.30, it's going to be visible for five minutes. At 10.30, it will be visible for five minutes. And so on until until you pretty much stop the server, in which case nothing's going to be visible for any time. The second method we have is time. This is a lot simpler. Pretty much that time zero is essentially when the server starts up. So here, the interval minutes is the interval between when the NPC shows, and then visible minutes is how long the NPC is visible for. So here, just for the point of this, we're going to set it up nice and simple. So every two minutes, the NPC is going to be visible for one minute. So pretty much it's going to be one minute there. Next minute, it's not going to be there. Next minute, it's going to be there again. Next minute, it's not going to be there. And it will just alternate for the rest until you shut down the server. Underneath that, we've got NPC, um, some NPC data as to the location. Um, default, it's at 080 and 0. 
you can either edit it here in um, the YML file just by putting your custom values in if you already have a spot, or you can also do it in game based on your character position. And then finally below that, we've just got some SQL data. So if you are using a uh, database and you want to uh, use, I guess your own database rather than the SQL Lite database, which just comes with the plugin, um, you can just input the information through there and just change the enabled function to true. And once we're back in game, we'll just reload the plugin just so all those new settings can be updated. And here we see Barry is looking great. And we have a black market menu opening when a player decides to right click on him. So now we'll go through and add some items into the black market. We've just got three custom items which I had sitting around. So we'll use a command slash setup market. And on that second item on the left hand side, you'll see you can add an item to the black market. Once we get into here, we've got three options. You need to get to add the item, set the amount or the stock of the item, and then the price. So it's easy, you just put the item into the box, press the tick, and we see it appears there. Next one, we click to select the stock. So we can artificially create a stock of the item that will be available to the player base to purchase. So for here, we'll just set it as five. And then finally, we will just set how much the item is going to cost. So this is the amount the item will play. This will be different for everyone's economy just based on how the server works. And then finally, you'll see the tick appears. That means we're all good. So we can see the cost 150, stock five, and the item. And then we get the message, you've successfully added the mission log to the black market. I'll go through, I'll go through and add the remaining two items in. And then we'll jump in and see how it looks after that. Alrighty, so we've added all three items together now. And what we'll do now, we'll just quickly show you how you can change the location of where you want the NPC to spawn. Just head over to the left-hand side to manage NPC spawn locations. Once we click that, we'll go through and just click the change default spawn location. This will set it to whatever location you are currently set at, and it will pick, it will take the center of the block which you are standing on. So now when we look at him and we decide to interact with him, it will be smack bang in that spot. And now when we open up, we open the market up, we can see we have three items loaded into the black market, the gravity boots, the gold coins, and the mission log. So in terms of the black market menu, you can edit it in ways so the amount of items that you want it to display. You can display up to a total of six items or a minimum of one item. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our config setting and under the tab of items selected, if we set items selected to one, what will happen? It will just show one item for us, and then you can kind of see how that process works. So we'll just set it to one here. We'll just go back, give it a quick reload. And we come across and we can see only one item has shown up. And now just so you can see how it works, we'll just reload it a couple of times. And what happens out of the three items, it will randomly select an item every time. Just so happens here that the first three times are all mission logs. And there we go. So it's gold coin now. So it will go through and randomly order the items. If you need to go through and edit the items for any reason that you've added, you can access it through the setup market command and then move across to the edit black market items. And as you can see here, it shows all the items. And if we shift right click on the item, it will delete that item and then we come back into the menu and it has all disappeared. And so now there are only two items in the black market menu and that will then update for the next time the black market comes around. Thank you all for watching this. Hope it's uh, been helpful. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out either on the forums or just messaging me on Discord. Um, and yeah, I'd be happy to help.